اللهم إني أسألك الأمور يوم لا ينفع مال ولا Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our dearest viewers, I am happy to welcome each and every one of you to the Holy Mosque, to the Holy Masjid of Kufa, Masjid of Kufa, which is roughly about 10 kilometers away from the Holy City of Najaf, just down the road from Masjid of Sahla, which is about a kilometer or two away. As you can see behind me, the golden dome, the beautiful gleaming golden dome of one of the greatest companions of Imam al Hussein and also the avenger of Imam Hussein's blood. These are the individuals of Muslim Ibn Aqil and also Mukhtar al Thaqafi. Two incredible individuals. For me, the first martyrdom of Karbala was Muslim and the last martyrdom of Karbala was Mukhtar. Both incredible men who gave their life to serve Ahlul Bayt salam and to ensure that the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Nabi Allah Muhammad stayed true and stayed correct. This masjid is packed with various different areas of significance of maqam, just like Masjid the Sahala and equally just like the city of Karbala. Thus what we wish to do for you today is to take you around this beautiful area despite how cold it is and it being raining, nothing will stop us. And Alhamdulillah, during our trip around the mosque, we will be joined by one of the great workers here, Sayyid Nabil, and inshallah, he will take us through into further detail about the various areas of scene. So inshallah, we'll go through as many as we can. And remember that this area will be where Imam al Hujjah, may Allah hasten his reappearance, will govern from. Masjid al Sahla will be his home. However, Masjid al Kufa will be the area where Imam al Behind us is an incredibly important area for Muslims across the world. It is an area that hurts the hearts of the Shi'as to an extent that is unfathomable. This is the area where the successor to Nabi Allah Muhammad was martyred. This is the area where after he completed his Fajr Salah prayers and started his Nawafil, he was then struck on the head by a coward, an absolute coward. However, when he was struck, he said, Verily, I am successful by the Lord of the Kaaba. This is none other than Amir al Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib, a man who we look up to, a man who we revere, and a man who we wish to be amongst in the hereafter. Our dear viewers, Right behind us was that exact spot where this crime against humanity, not just against one man, but humanity took place. It's indescribable to think what would have even been the reaction amongst the people there when this act took place. To see their leader, who had just led their salah, be struck in such a manner. Yet we learn a beautiful lesson from Imam Ali alayhi salam with his akhlaq and the way he reacted to this. Once he was taken back to his home, which is just down the road from here in Meshit Akufa, his killer, was, he was captured, he was arrested. And he said to Imam Ali that the handcuffs that they've put around my wrists, they're too tight. And Imam Ali, even to the person that causes his death, still treats him with utmost respect because we never know when someone's going to say sorry and ask for forgiveness just like Hur did and we see how Imam Hussein acted just like his father. Imam Ali replies to the man and he said no worries and he tells one of his companions to loosen the handcuffs that are across his arms. Such is the mannerism and etiquette and behavior of this incredible man. 
And Alhamdulillah, we had the chance to visit him just yesterday in Najaf. And I wish to share with you just a few lines of poetry about the anticipation to seeing this great man, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. To be in your presence A moment I'll treasure I'll never forget That moment I mean to you To be in your presence A moment I'll treasure I'll never forget That moment I mean to you don't let, Don't let it be it brief. Be brief. When, I when I leave, I'll, I'll grieve grief to, to be in your presence. Your presence. Oh, oh, Ali, don't turn away from me. I know I'm not perfect like you, but please help me. I promise, I promise I'll be, be Shia of Ali until I leave this small world. This world is temporary, it's simply a journey until the eternal. To be in your presence, a moment I'll treasure. I'll never forget that moment I mean to you. Don't let it be brief. When I leave, I'll grieve to be in your presence. Assalamu alaikum ya Amir al Amir ya Mawlai ya Ali 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 as we go through more and more of the areas of significance here in Masjid al Kufa, we find two extremely important areas towards our right hand side. Firstly, the maqam of Imam Ja'far al Sadiq, our holy sixth Imam. It's said that in this masjid, he used to host what could be known as a university. Various groups of students would come in, sit in circles, and they would have teachers there. Those teachers would teach things like astronomy, like science and various things like that. When they were unsure about a question, or they themselves had a question that they wished to be solved, they would then of course approach our holy sixth Imam, the great scientist and the great scholar. Just next to his maqam is the shrine of Hani ibn Urwa, one of the great companions of both Rasulullah and Imam Ali alayhi salam. The man who hosted the legend that is Muslim Ibn Aqil, the first of the martyrs, in my eyes, of Karbala. And Muslim Ibn Aqil, his shrine is just behind us. A phenomenal man, a man who Imam Al Hussein referred to as his own brother. We all wish to have Imam Al Hussein call us one of his servants. However, this man, Muslim, was called a brother by Imam Al Hussein. It's quite a Phenomenal title to get from such an amazing man and Alhamdulillah his tomb behind us Illustrates what a great man he was For me as I mentioned he is the first of the martyrs of Karbala And just next to him is a man who I believe the final martyr of Karbala And that is Muqtar al-Faqafi the man who avenged the death of Imam al hussein who had great conviction and a great brain on him and he was fearless truly fearless and I see both these individuals as legends, quite simply legends. And insha'Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant us the visitation of these two great men, both in this life and their intercession. <laughs> Mawlaya, ya Mawlaya. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين. As mentioned in authentic narration, the mosque of Al Kufa was the oldest spot of all mosques except the sacred mosque. Also, it was mentioned that the angel was adopted this place as a temple before the creation of our prophet Adam. Besides, there are many prophets adopt this uh, holy place as the uh, place for uh, their worshiping and living. Uh, for, uh, for your knowledge, the mosque of Kufa uh, has a virtue that the traveler, uh, the traveler has right to uh, perform his uh, prayer uh, short or complete. And this is uh, this virtue. Uh, uh, ha this virtue uh, was given uh, to four uh, places, and one of these places is Al Kufa Mosque. Beside the big reward uh, that uh, may uh, that given uh, that is given to a traveler who performed the prayer in that uh, place. Uh, one of the important places or uh, maqam uh, in this mosque. Uh, as the prayer niche of Imam Ali alayhi salam, uh, the same place who was assassinated uh, in it uh, in uh, 41 after Hijrah. Uh, the, the, the traveler or the visitor of this place uh, can see uh, some important places or, or what we call uh, maqam, uh, such as the maqam of uh, Prophet uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam, uh, Prophet uh, Nuh alayhi salam, uh, the maqam of Al Khidr alayhi salam. Besides, there are many uh, maqams uh, of uh, infallible, uh, infallible imams, al-Imam al Ma'asumin alayhi salam, such as the maqam of uh, Imam Ja'far al Sadiq salam al alayhi, al maqam uh, Zain al Abidin, and one, one of the Another virtue of this place is the, the uh, our Imam Al Hajj Allah Faraj Al Sharif uh, again uh, ad, uh, again adopts this place as the center of uh, his uh, future state, and the and uh, it uh, take it takes it will take uh, he will take this spot as the uh, as the uh, point of correction the another uh, size of. Rahim. We now bring our coverage here in Mesha the Kufa to an end and genuinely I'm speechless. History, significance, importance, the load is all here. This will be the area where Imam al hujjah may Allah hasten his reappearance, will govern from. It's quite simply incredible to think the level of the decisions that Imam will make in this exact area. And inshallah, myself, yourself, our family and friends, will all be part of those who carry out the tasks as ordained by Imam al-Hujjah, Sahib al-Asri wa zaman وهل يرهم الممتصنا إلا السلطان مولايا يا مولاي أنت الدليل وأنا المتهيب وهل يرهم المتهجر إلا الدليل مولاي يا مولاي 
انت الغفور وانا المذنب فهل يرهب المذنب الا